Hello, thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, what you see in the vise is a variation on the candy floss booby. It's not my tying this one though. This one's from the fly shop. Uh, Wayne Jones has sent me a few flies and over the coming few weeks I'm going to show you how to tie some of the flies that are available from the fly shop. So here it is here. I haven't got all the exact materials but I'm going to do the best I can with what I have. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, in the vise then is a Hanak H270 barbless hook. It's at size 8, but this is more akin to a Kamazan hook at size 10. So it fits within the international gauge and can be used in competitions. It's a medium wire hook and it's ideal for buoyant flies such as this booby. The thread I'm going to be using is the uni thread. It's at 6O and it's white. First thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of wax onto my thread. This just helps bed in the materials and stops body rotation on the fly. So I'm starting just in behind the eye and I'm going to use my rat's tail to help with touching turns up the shank of the hook. And once I've got it up to approximately just before a barb would be or the bump on this 270 and I'm going to take away my waist. Now, I'm going to put a tail in this fly and I'm going to use the comp candy and this is the pink lemonade. I've already got a feather here and I'm going to take about a thumbnail's worth from my tail. I've just ripped that off. Now, when, when you've got your marabou, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, uh, you want to have as much of the really thin stuff at the end in the tail. Well, I like to have that. So I'm going to discard this portion of the bit of marabou I've taken. I'll just do that off camera. Then what I can do is bring my thread quickly up to the where I started with a couple of big open turns and then just capture that in there. I want it the entire length of the, the body and then I'm going to bring it back to approximately where a barb would be on the hook. Then I can come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand, clamp down and just ease away my tail there. I'll just lick my thumb and forefinger to damp that down. It just helps with uh, getting it to behave a bit better. Next, I'm going to add some flat tinsel. This is from Lure for Lash and it's basically a very thin uh, pearl lurex tinsel. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on the camera with the light, but yeah, pretty transparent, it's got quite a nice sheen to it once it's on. So I'm going to catch that in. Bear with me. About an eighth of an inch of it. And then I'm going to carefully come all the way back up the body and just pack my thread just a millimetre or so back from the eye. Now before I uh, come up with my body wrap I'm going to add just a little bit of super glue to the body and this just um, it helps once you've had a few fish um, if you don't do this then you find that your um, your mylar or your your flat tinsel as I'm using here will just part company with the body and the fly ends up not lasting very long but with a little bit of super glue added it just gives it that bit of longevity it's fairly happy with that and I'm going to stop there so I'm, I'm quite far back from the eye as you can see uh, and that's on purpose. Now the pattern that Wayne sent me they've used sunburst straggle frets. I don't have any of that so what I'm going to have to use is what I do have and it's uh, 
it's some of this, it's a green sort of colour. Uh, it's quite a vibrant green actually and it does change the pattern completely so what you're seeing isn't what the fly shop are selling but it's very similar and if you're tying them up and you have the right materials you'll be able to reproduce this no problem. So I'm just uh, going to grab in the end as you can see it's got a little straggle. I'm just going to tidy that up with my snips before I capture it in. And once I've got it on, I'm going to just get a few wraps of this. It doesn't need much. Maybe two or three. There's two. And I'll put another one in for luck. Three. Now the straggle fritz is actually a lot easier to work with and I must, uh, I'm going to the BFFI this year so I'm going to try and pick up some. Once you've got that out of the way, slick everything back and you should have enough room to fit your wing and your booby eyes in. Just going to remove my excess straggle. And if you give your thumb and forefinger a lick and just encourage all the fibres to go back, it'll just help you out later on. Okay, next I'm going to use some more of the uh, pink lemonade from Comp Candy. I'm going to take a, another generous pinch. And this time I'm not going to come as far up, so I'm going to just take about an inch of that off as my waist. I'm going to give it a little lick just to get rid of any sort of little ends there just do that on the camera and then I can capture that in ok once you've got a couple of turns you can then concentrate on just tidying this up like so now at this point I'm going to put a half hitch in and I'm going to cast my thread off. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was showing you the original fly, I'll just bring that into shot, um, the, the change threads just at the end here so that it has a, a little red or orange tag just below it. And you can see the difference now actually between the um, the, the straggle I'm using and the, the sunburst straggle, it's, it's quite marked. So, I've got some uni thread here, uh, it's fire orange and it's at 6 0, and I'm now going to bring that on. just remove that end. Okay, now I've got that thread in place, what I'm going to do before I go on is slick back my wing and just remove the excess marabou off the end. So now I've got it all looking pretty tidy. I'm going to lick my thumb and forefinger, just slick everything back out the way. So next I'm going to add my booby eyes, I'll just get my thread into the right position for this. And if you've not seen how I form my booby eyes, I'll put a, a little Instagram bar up where you can see how I form my booby eyes. So I'm just trying to find the little tic tac that I prepared earlier. Here it is. And as I said, if you have a look at the other video, you'll see how I get to this stage. So I'm now going to capture that on. Try and make sure all your materials are behind and then just show up to the hook and I do five one way and five the other way. Try and not capture in any material, sometimes it can't be helped with the fritz but if you can avoid it all the better. So I've now caught in that and I've come to the front 
front of the fly just behind the eye and put another couple of turns in. Now I'm going to add a touch of super glue to my thread before I put this half hitch in. And then just finish that off. Now I'm going to remove that with snips and again I'm going to use some super glue here and I'm just going to get it on my needle. So I've got my dubbing needle and I just want to capture some super glue onto that. I'm going to open up the eyes and just work the super glue in between the eyes. I need a little bit more, just take it off the brush. I'm going to open up my vise, come underneath and just coat that area with some glue. Not much, doesn't need much, just helps hold it all into place. And once you've done that, job's a good one. So, uh, a nice alternative for the uh, candy floss booby and Wayne tells me that it's best fished on the hang and I can imagine that's because the, the straggle bursts out and it just becomes very appetising for the trout. I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so on the button there and I'll see you all next time.